Hey guys and welcome back to the second part of this series, Mac Mini for video editing and motion graphics. And uh, in this chapter we are going to see why I bought a Mac. <laughs> so with the help of the, of the keynote, let's go through uh, a few points that lead me to, to buy the Mac. So first of all, uh, the software that I use most is After Effects. Uh, as I said before, 80% of my time is spent on After Effects. Uh, this is no excuse to buy a Mac, but let's move on. Um, I also use Premiere Pro uh, for my video editing and I use Photoshop when I need to change uh, some things. I also use uh, Adobe Illustrator, but not as much as uh, Photoshop. And sometimes uh, Cinema 4D, whether to create uh, projects that um, After Effects just don't have the tools for 3D capability as um, as the Cinema 4D. Uh, there is a plugin which is great from uh, Andrew Kramer uh, from the Video Copilot, which is Element 3D. I didn't purchase it yet, um, to be honest. Uh, it is a great plugin and I wanted to try, but only when I have time because um, there's a learning curve for everything. And, um, but that's another conversation. Uh, but <laughs> just to bear that you, if you intend to post in a comment, hey, don't forget about the plugin Element 3D. It's a great plugin. Probably um, Cinema 4D will not be as necessary as it is now. But uh, for me, I stick to Cinema 4D because, uh, as I said, the learning curve takes, takes a while, even for a plugin. So that being said, these are the softwares that I use uh, most of the time. And of course, they are available in Windows platform and on uh, OS X. So at this point, I have no excuse to, to get a Mac because <laughs> uh, being used to Windows, having the software, um, there's no excuse. But um, there is software that uh, can only run on OS X. And, um, well, you can say there's Akintosh way. <laughs> yes, there is, but uh, it didn't work for me. And I will show you, uh, or I will talk about it in uh, the, the next video. Um, so that being said, there is a software available only for OS X or only for Windows. Of course, uh, OS X or Macs have a platform like Bootcamp or uh, Parallels that will let you run Windows applications on it. Um, and the other way around is a bit more difficult, the Akintosh way. <laughs> it's a bit more difficult. So I give it a try, but I didn't want to spend much, 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 much time because um, that would be a, a loss for me. I prefer to spend my time doing what I know <laughs> instead of uh, wasting endless hours uh, trying to achieve something. So. That being said, there was a software, which is Apple Motion 5, uh, last year that I wanted to give it a try. Um, there is an open market for this, for this, uh, for this uh, kind of, of templates and works. And uh, in my business, is a, it's, it's a business opportunity. Um, I've got some customers that only work with Apple Motion 5. Uh, and now I'm able to customize and create projects from scratch. Uh, in this platform. So this was the main reason that led me to buy a Mac. Uh, of course, Final Cut Pro um, was a curiosity. And if we uh, check the prices of uh, Apple Motion 5, for example, it was only 50 euros for the software. Uh, I cannot compare it with After Effects because even though they are, uh, or even though I can achieve almost the same result with Apple Motion 5. And I try to do that with my templates. I created an After Effects and then I try to replicate that in um, Apple Motion 5. But uh, this software is much, much cheaper than um, Adobe uh, After Effects. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that um, I went with it. So in terms of investment is very little investment for it. Uh, Final Cut Pro was a bit more expensive, it was 20, uh, 250 euros. Um, and <laughs> I'm starting to play with it. Uh, by the way, all the videos that I'm creating for this uh, particular uh, mini series will be edited in Final Cut Pro. Um, so that being said, this was the main reason that I've jumped for a um, 
for a Mac uh, system. I didn't replace any of my workstations <laughs> or, or my workstation or any other uh, device that I have. I only added um, another element, which is the uh, Mac Mini. Okay, so hope this uh, answers a few questions. Why a Mac? Um, just because that, because I didn't like the experience of the Akintosh. Although I have all the, the, the parts necessary to, to, to make one, I didn't like that experience. And I jumped with uh, this one here. Okay, guys, so on the next video, we will go uh, to talk a little about why the Mac Mini, uh, in this case, the late 2012. Uh, which we will start on the uh, next video. Okay, so if you had the patience to stick around until now, I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.